Hello, beautiful souls. It's me, Christy, and I'm back for day three of Navaratri. And today is the third incarnation of Ma Dubra, which this is so amazing. I'm really enjoying this opportunity to share this knowledge with you. So uh, again, this is the English version, and I'm not going into great detail on the other two uh, so far that we've gone through as far as the legend goes because it's really rather extensive and uh, the points that I want to make here are more so about astrology and about the chakras and about the uh, ways that you can work with those so I'm getting all of the information uh, updated on each of the videos where you can get more content and more detailed information about all of this information if you'd like to follow that. So here we go. Today is the incarnation of Deve Chandra, Chandra Gante. I hope I said that right. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about her story because she's also a very interesting character. Uh, she, so again we realize that this is all about the mother, right? We're honoring the mother. That's the feminine energy. That's what Navratri is all about and the nine incarnations of Ma Durga. And so today is her third one, um, with their, what they're celebrating. And uh, Chandra Gante means the one who has the half moon shaped like a bell. Her third eye is always open and she's always ready uh, to for war against demons. That's why I'm reading, her about, reading about her a little bit more than I did the other ones, because I find this fascinating. So this particular uh, goddess, has 10 arms, 10 arms. Now, wouldn't that be amazing, <laughs> 10 arms? You could take care of everything you need to. The reason why she has 10 arms, though, is because she carries a lot of weapons. Why? Because her main purpose is to kick butt against de demons. She is the goddess that uh, balances good and evil. She's good, and she kicks butt on demons. I think that's pretty rocking. So, uh, she uh, is believed to reward people with grace, bravery, and courage. Uh, by her grace, all the sins, distresses, physical suffering, mental tri tribulations, and ghostly hurdles of the de devotees are eradicated. Um, it also represents her married form, uh, as she is the avatar of, of poverty, <laughs> poverty, excuse me, poverty, sorry. I hope I said that right. If I did it, please forgive me because I'm still learning my Hindi. Um, her planet is Chandra, which is the moon. So again, we're talking about the moon, and this is uh, energies of, of the water are the moon. But she carries the element of fire because, um, let me see if I lost a page, uh, because of all of her warlike tendencies. The interesting fact is, though, even though she is like a warrior and kicks butt against demons, she's a motherly figure, and so she's very loving and very caring to her devotees, and she does great protection for them. Uh, so she has the ten arms, and two of them, uh, two of her hands, one of them holds a trident, and the other holds a bow and arrow, or a sword, and then she has one that holds a lotus flower. And the other ones are water pots and things like that. Uh, but she rides on a tiger or a lion, depending upon which uh, depiction you see. Um, and it represents, again, courage and bravery. She wears a half moon uh, depicting a bell on her forehead. Now, here's the interesting thing. So this bell on her forehead <laughs> is pretty amazing because she's been known to kill demons by the ring of the bell. The tone of that bell just sends a vibration and it just kicks butt on these demons. So I think that's pretty amazing. I'm super excited about that. So if you have uh, a moon in a disharmonious place in your astrological chart, working with this particular goddess will help you balance that energy, right? So we're talking about courage and bravery. So she's got to kick butt and knock out all of the negative uh, things, energies that you have within your chart in regards to, uh, well, confidence, courage, so bravery, bringing in fearlessness. And uh, she is associated with the color royal blue. Now, I don't have royal blue, so I'm wearing black today. That's as good as I could get is purple 
and black. Um, however, so she's pretty amazing, and you also know that she is would be then associated with the uh, third chakra, which uh, is the solar plexus. That's associated with color yellow. And let me go back here so I don't miss anything because I'm trying to condense these and keep them real quick and snappy. <laughs> so uh, her mantra would be uh, Om Deve Chandra Gante. Om Deve Chandra Gante Namaha. I'm not doing that appropriately like they do. These are just the words. Uh, in the link down below, or in the description down below, you'll see the spelling for all of that. And I'll let you guys work on uh, saying those for yourself. I will be doing some videos on um, sounds and uh, mantras very soon on particularly how to say those sounds. As I said yesterday in the video, the um is not like Americans, a lot of Americans do. It's not um. Mm. This is not like that. Again, it's a om oh, mm, with the mouth closed on the end. And you can feel the vibrations, again, lining up your body when you do that. So you would be doing the knowledge symbol and oh, actually it's more of a round shape. Om. Oh, mm, you can feel the vibration around your face. You can feel it around your heart chakra and all the way up. And so as we know, again, the uh, solar plexus chakra, excuse me, has everything to do with uh, your health, strengthening your health. And um, her, again, her color is royal blue. It's also associated with riches and serenity. And she's known as the goddess of forgiveness and peace which is pretty interesting because she is a demon warrior, which is pretty badass in my opinion. So, <laughs> that is that part. And also, um, I will be um, adding what the names of the chakras are in Hindi as well. So, I thought that was very fascinating. And then she carries the element of fire. The focus is on the diaphragm, the anatomy of metabolism, which, and of course, it's located at the navel. And it, uh, it's symbolized by a downward triangle with ten petals, yellow, and a seed symbol of Ram. The meaning is lustrous gem in Sanskrit, and the, it has the power of transformation uh, with the moon. You know how the moon is all about, the full moon is all about um, releasing things that no longer serve you. So this is all about transformation had all of those beautiful things and then you know of course the new moon is all about uh calling in what you want so that's bringing in and then the full moon is releasing so it's again all about moon energy some of the foods that are associated with this uh, particular goddess are things like blueberries prunes um, you could offer her uh here as a uh, prasad which is a sweet they eat a lot of sweets here um, a lot of things with wheat and sugar. So I'll probably later be working on making some recipes that uh, possibly would be gluten-free and using honey. They use a lot of honey too, so that's a very good thing. Um, but those are the delights that she would like. And then the recipes that I found for today, actually I think I only picked one for today, I did. Sweet potatoes are another thing that are very good. So this particular dish uh, is uh, that I picked is called Makan Kai Kir and it's made with lotus seeds so that was really fascinating for me I thought that was fantastic so I condensed it down to almost less well nine minutes and 30 seconds so I did very well on summing that up again if you want to work with this energy it will help you release your uh, fears and anxiety and build courage okay and strength because think about it, this lady rides on a tiger with weapons and ten arms that is kicking butt against demons. I mean, I don't know about you, but these, these uh, deities become more and more fascinating to me every day. I wasn't talking about them as much the first two days. I wanted to focus more on the other things, but these are pretty amazing. 
So if you're curious about the story of Ma Dugra, Durga, then do do your research and check it out. And again, there'll be some information in the links. And this is also representing um, the global uh, movement for world peace. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys. And I'm sending you much love and light. As it is above, is below. As it is within, is without. Namaste, guys. Until soon.